YouTube, it's your boy Fishing Ken out here, man. I'm in the woods somewhere. Decided to do a little scouting late this evening. Got a couple of minutes. I just want to see if I can possibly catch something uh, up against the bank. Uh, well, let's see how it works out, man. I got my uh, got my little pack with me. Some uh, I just kind of grabbed pretty quick. Um, a light load. I actually forgot all my rods at the house at my parents house uh, where the boat stays everything's in the rod locker so uh, we're gonna be using a 12 footer uh, power pro line I had some power pro line and an old reel that isn't working real good right now so we're gonna test it out I think I'm gonna try a black and chartreuse Billy Morgan try body bait and uh, let's get it going baby let's see See what we can come up on. See what we can come up on. This is actually a little, little bit longer than what I would want to use at this time. I usually would probably go for like a 10 footer, which is what I've been using off the boat. But I got a 12, which ain't bad. I mean, I'll be fishing. I'm fishing from the bank, so to be able to get out in front and fish stuff like this tree out here is a good thing. So let's just drop it down right there in front of that tree, see what happens. It's not real deep. Hopefully it's not too snaky. I left my snake boots in the in the truck. You want to find stuff like this, big and bushy, a lot of limbs in the water. You want to let out about a foot and a half, two foot of line. You want to be able to hit the bottom, let me just say that. If possible, you want to be able to hit the bottom. I like to take my offhand and kind of control everything. If I'm getting in a real bushy situation, I pull that jig all the way up to the rod tip. That way I can control it better where I want that jig to go and slowly lower it down. Always keep control of your jig because that hit can come at any time. You just want to take your jig. Just check out a couple of places. If you stick it in the right hole and it gets in front of that male's face, I can guarantee you he's either making a nest or protecting it, protecting the nest. He's going to pop that jig. He wants it out of the way so he can handle business. It shouldn't take a whole lot. There he is. That's a good crappie and my drag is all wrong. That's a good crappie. I'm catching one now. That might be a sandbag. I can't see him. Don't you do it. No, that's a crappie. That's a, a magnolia. Come on in here. That's a big boy too. You keeping fish? I'm not like catching up. Man, guys, I switched it up. Man, look at the size of that crappie. I switched it up this time using that uh, 16th ounce with just a little silver jig. Tossing it because my, my jig pole was just too much in the area. And uh, boom. I want to say this is a spawned out female. Look how skinny she is. That's a skinny fish. Yeah, and still, man, I told y'all I was going to do a little scouting today, walking into a creek. Man, that's a good, what do you think, 14, 14 and a half? That's a good 14 inch fish. Black at that. I bet pregnant she'd have been a heavy fish. Racing stripe, y'all see it. Plenty of those in Texas, especially around Cedar Creek. 
Man, well, the skunk is off. Let's see if we can get another one. All right, guys, so the crapper y'all in here. That's a big mama. She's done. There's your release. Well, guys, that's gonna complete today's mission. <sighs> but the cool thing is I did catch a humongous mohawk crappie. So I always have a hard time catching a black crappie in the spawn. So to catch one of those in the spawn is, was really cool. So that's probably why you're seeing this video. You know, I won't usually post a video with one single fish catch. But it was just cool seeing that, man. I sitting at home, had time, had a spent some time with the family so I decided to have a little me time get out here for I think I've been out here two hours now two hours one bite I know it did a little bit of jigging uh, then tied on my cork and did the popping cork deal and that is what gave me the result that I needed so um, I might frequent this uh this creek a little more see what I can get out of it had a good time though, man. So, hey man, if you didn't learn anything today, know that if you're gonna be walking into the creek, uh, number one, you wanna pack light. Uh, but number two, if you can, take a jig pole with you, something, you know, 10 to 12, I would I would suggest from the bank a 12 footer. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't take anything less than a 12 footer with me if I was jigging from the bank. And then you want to have a popping cork, and you can do that with like a five, six, seven and a half, five and a half foot rod. Um, something a little bit shorter that you can cast with without um, getting hung up in too many limbs and overhanging trees and stuff like that, man. So um, I think I grabbed four baits, all silver, black and chartreuse, um, and one or two more. Put them in my back pocket, have a couple jig heads, and beat the bank up for a little bit. Met some people out there. Um, get friendly, you know. Get friendly and ask them what they're doing, how they're doing it. You know, some people, most people, I'll say that, most people are pretty friendly, man, when you meet them at the lake. Um, especially when you come at them when you have, like you have a little sense. So... <clears throat> That's it, man. One fish. I know. I know. Don't talk about me too much. But that one fish was a good fish. It was definitely a donkey. So. Anyway, man. It's your boy Fishing Ken, Hook City TV. Spring 2019, man. So y'all get out there. Beat up the banks. Get those boats in the water. Get into those creeks. Because they are in the creeks right now. Um, it won't be long. They're going to be on the docks. And, and in those shallow flats real good here in North Texas, so y'all stay tuned, man. I'm going to keep the camera rolling. It's your boy Fishing Ken, Hook City TV. I'm out, chip.